Hi there guys, just a quick one before the video starts. Uh, one of the new features that we have now in uh, Train Sim World 2 is the Creators Club. Uh, as you can see from this, I do have a few uh, reskin creations of my own. Uh, to find these, all you need to do is go into the search bar, type in Tev1990, that's Tango Echo Victor uh, for Tev, and that is with a lowercase T. Uh, I say we've got a, a couple of liveries in there. I've got the Saint John Ambulance Class 66 there. I've got because with the Spirit of Steam, obviously we now have Steam locos. I have made three of the original LMS. Uh, liveried locos or as original to the LMS livery as I can get if you can't find it by typing in Tev1990 if you type in what it says there LMS Jubilee Nelson 5644 that should bring up the livery for you and you'll be able to uh, click on my name there to find uh, the rest of them and uh, definitely stay tuned to uh, my little bit on there because there will be more reskins coming soon so but uh, yeah Give them a download and everything, and uh, let me know what you think to them. And uh, now, it'll be on to the video. Hello there guys, Tev1990 here, welcome back to today's video. Uh, we are playing Train Sim World uh, on the PS5. This is the Liverpool to Crew map. Uh, with obviously the Steam Locos. So just bear with me, there we go. Right, so. Let's just, uh, we'll set the Loco up just before we go. Also, we can get ready to go. Uh, cylinders are open. Brake is there. That's fine. That'll hold. Yeah, we are on a bit of a gradient. So let's just put the front sander on. Uh, whilst we're waiting for the passengers, let's just get out. And there we go. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. I'll have a look at the front. Yeah, all good. And what's the name of this one? Hardy. There we go. So, uh, we are, I do believe, going from Liverpool Lime Street to Crewe. I'm not entirely sure on that one. I can't remember the uh, scenario details that well. And as suggested by the title of this uh, scenario, this is the Bovine Blockage. So let's just put a bit of throttle on, set the combination brake to release, and let's get going. Give them a toot on the whistle. There we go. I will turn the cylinders off. So, is it? Yeah, handbrakes release, that's good. I didn't check that before I left, but there we go. So that is our fireman for the day, even though it's a lady, but there we go. Because in these times, political correctness wasn't a thing. So let's just... Oh, look at that. Beautiful. absolutely beautiful so one thing you will find is I'm still not entirely uh, au fait with uh, driving steam locomotives I'm uh, still learning so you will see that a lot of things I do will not be correct more than likely but there we go So, like I said, this is the bovine blockage scenario. Uh, one thing I do remember is that it does say that a four-legged friend uh, is getting in... Excuse me a second. 
is getting in a bit of sightseeing, not sightseeing, what am I on about? A bit of early morning train spotting. So I'm presuming a four-legged friend is going to cause a problem for us. But we will get to that when we get to it. So for this scenario I'm not using the immersion control either. As uh, I, I'll be honest I forgot to put it on. So but maybe for the next ones I will be I will use the uh, immersion controls. So our first stop is at Acton Bridge. Which is just over six and a half miles away. So we've got a, a nice little trek to get up to there. Our boiler pressure is going down, but that's not surprising when we're running at full throttle. Well, Unfortunately, like I say, I don't know quite enough about driving steam locos at the minute to, for me to uh, know any different. So, I'm just hoping that it levels out at some point soon, so that we can pick up a bit more speed. Because I would like to get up to the speed limit. And I've got a feeling, for me to speed up, if I was to put the reverser, or turn the reverser down, I've got a feeling it would start slowing me down as well. But then again, it's starting to slow down on its own, without me doing that to the reverser. So, it might be an idea, if I turned it down a little bit, Has slowed me down a bit more, but yeah, it slowed me down. Hmm. <clears throat> like I said, I'm not entirely au fait with driving steam locos yet, so it's uh, still, I would say, a bit of a learning curve. But we'll get there. If the video becomes too long and I have to cut bits out, then I have to cut bits out. You know, it's uh, just one of those things. I'm just looking at the motion here. Oh, it's lovely. To be fair, they've done a really good job with this. Well, I mean, I've got my headset in and I've got it turned up full. You know. Uh, oh, it's just lovely, just listening to that sound. And then you get the... Oh dear, fantastic. So, let's just uh, there we go. We'll stick that camera there. That'll do it. Right then. Um, so we're oh we're picking up speed. That might be because we're going downhill. <laughs> Yes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn that up to about 50 summit again. Just to 
keep it nice and level. There we go. There we go. Pick up speed as we're going downhill. Countryside is absolutely gorgeous as well. All right. Am I able to see what my... Yes, I am. But it's also turning the reverser down, which I don't really want to do. So we are heading towards crew. I've just found out. So that's fine. So somewhere along this line, we're going to have to s slow down or something. Just give these people in the houses a little toot on the whistle. Uh. Right, so what have we got incoming then? Incoming, we have a... Uh, a grid signal in one and a half miles and a 65 mile an hour limit in one mile. I'm not even at 50 yet, so we should be easily sorted for that. Oh dear. Just have my drink there. Right then. I've just passed, oh my word, we're, we're now going down quite a steep hill. And we're going pretty quick. Or picking up speed pretty quick. I may just have to back off the regulator a bit. Yeah, I'm going to back off the regulator. Let's have it closed. And if I need to, I'm going to put a bit of brake on. I don't think I'm going to have to, though. I think I should be okay. Yeah, I've got to have to open the throttle again because we're starting to drop speed. No, I'm picking up speed again because we're going downhill. So I'm going to have to use a bit of brake, I think. We're at 65. If we get to 67, then I'll start applying a bit of brake pressure. Oh, crumbs. I'm going to have to put brakes on now. Got a speed limit of 55 coming up very rapidly.
Right, so I can open up the throttle again now, I think. Yeah. Excuse me. Right, so... Acton Bridge is just under one and a half miles away. So when it gets to about a mile, I'm gonna... Uh, start applying brakes. Just excuse me while I uh, adjust my headset there. I might not have to use that many much brake either because we're going up a slight incline. So I might be able to use the uh, the incline to help slow me down as well. So let's take the throttle off, put some brake on, and let's see how quick it starts going down. Fucking north, but not that quick. We need a bit more than that. So let's put full brake on. If we have to use a bit of throttle to keep us going, then we have to use a bit of throttle to keep us going. be able to just coast it in. In fact, I'm going to have to use a bit of brake, aren't I? signal is calling us over, go and see what they want. Right, put full brake on. Before I leave, let's just open the cylinder cock. Oh. So, this must be our thing from the signaler. Oh, I can't close the door. Oh well, right, where am I going? I'm going this way. So let's go down. No trains coming. Right. Hello, signaller. There's reports of a cow on the upline. We think they have the situation under control now. Okay. I'd route you onto the slow line. Sorry, it'll make your journey a bit longer. And you can inform the signalman at Hartford the situation too, please. Or can you? Okay. Yes, I suppose we can. All right, let's jump back on. Also, I didn't need to actually stop here as such. Oh, okay. I thought this was one of my registered stops. I had to let passengers on and off and everything. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Right, 
so it looks like we're going along the slow line. God knows where this is. use the view from up here there's the cows mm. I would say that's potentially not under control since the cows are still too close to the line in my prefer my my opinion that's uh, a bit too close for me so but there we go so we shall inform the signalman at Hartford of our findings That's all right, so they didn't cause us as, as much of a problem as I thought they were going to. Oh, excuse me. so we've got 25 mile an hour limit coming up so I think we need to put a bit of brake on let's just open this uh, ejector so that the brake can uh, quickly engage and disengage as and when I need it to instead of having to wait for the pressure to come through naturally force it through by using the ejector makes it a lot quicker so we'll soon be out of this 25 mile an hour limit where we can uh, just open the taps again a little bit but not for long because we're approaching Hartford to go and report to the signalman our findings. Right, so we'll use the uphill to help slow us down. into the station here.
I do like the fact that we've got a full boiler again, that's good. We've got full steam pressure anyway. Oh dear. Right then. So we're just coming in. To Hartford Station. And I think we need to start applying a bit more brake. Yeah, right then. So we're going to unlock the doors, which are the left doors. Follow the markers to the signaler. Let's go and talk to the signaler. So nothing coming. Oh, there is something coming. Uh, I think I can make it across before that comes. To bridge check on the cow situation. Looks like they've herded the cows, but they're still quite near the tracks. It's probably not safe to open up the lines yet. There we go. So thanks for the report. I'll inform Acton Bridge. Lovely. You do that. I'm now going to go back to the train. I don't. I think they. Are they waiting for me? I don't know. I can't imagine there would be. It's a dual track, so... Right. Sit in the driver's seat. Right, so we need to lock the door. Uh, okay, stop at location Winsford. Oh, a bit of wheel spin there. I forgot to open the cylinder cock, so well. They're seriously just waiting for us? I really don't get why, but okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a pity they don't whistle back. So we've got four miles to go to Winsford. And so Winsford is not there, not there, or there. Where is it then? Well, it's because <laughs> I was going the wrong way. It's there. And then I think after that it's Crew. quite nicely now. I, I don't know, you know, I don't know if the coal in the tender actually has the animation of depleting or not. So, but I know you can do a, a thing either in tra in the training, excuse me, or the, the, the training section or one of the timetable uh, route. Uh, do job is where you can actually go and fill up with coal and uh, water. Uh, 
you know, and so we've got three miles. Let's see if we can get to that magic number of 90 miles an hour. listen to this coming past now that we're picking up speed is this another one coming well, okay they're waiting as well it's a good train well oh here we come I don't know why that reverser just decided to go backwards. I have no idea. I think I'm having a problem with control, you know. I noticed it the other day, it was a bit, uh, I wouldn't say unresponsive, but it was very slow in responding only by a fraction of a second than what it normally was or normally is too bad with that. Fifty-six and we're still accelerating. Smashing. We are smashing it. Sounds lovely. Right, are we getting some wheel slip there? My, my eyes deceiving me. The wheel slip markers appearing next to Yes, they are. We're getting a little bit of wheel slip. I don't know if that's supposed to be happening or not. Either which way we need to stop. Oh, we're going too fast. We ain't going to stop in time. Please don't be a red signal just after the Please don't, please don't, please don't. Oh, crumbs. I might just have to do a bit of reversing. That is bad. See, that's what you get when you're not watching. That is, that's what you get when you're not watching what you're doing. Sodom. Just gonna have to open those, open the doors up. Oh, blimey, O'Reilly.
Right, let's get that boiler pressure up again. Let's open them. Oh, God, that was nearly catastrophic. God, just imagine if that signal would have been red coming through station. Oh, excuse me. All that work would have gone to waste. Lock doors. Let's lock them. Now we're ready to go. Yes, we are. Crew is our next stop. Right. Are we moving? Yes, very slowly. Turn that off. There we go. Right, and it's seven and a half miles to crew. Let's go. Oh, another one. Oh, I do like that livery coach there. Then, ooh, lovely. Uh, cold or? Ooh. Uh, let's turn her up full. Game or had this particular uh, add on for just over a week now. Excuse me. And I'm still amazed at the level of detail and everything. Oh, it's lovely. This is something that I know I've been waiting for on Train Sim World for, well, ever since it came out on uh, the console on the PlayStation 4. And I can only say, I'm not disappointed as such. There's a few things that I would have uh, liked to have been able to do. Or would have liked to have seen. I'd have liked to have had the choice of like a, a, a big loco like this one and a smaller one like a little tank engine or something. You know. And the, uh, the only other thing really, it's just a minor thing. is um, the whistle uh, I'd have, instead of it just being a yeah I'd have loved to have been able to have the the option to have the whistle slightly on if you know what I mean so you can do the uh, you know what a lot of steam loco drivers do Is have the whistle slightly on, then give it the beans, and then put it just slightly on again. And, you know, yeah. So you get the the, 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 what's the what's the word I'm looking for. The multitude of uh, mm, the multitude of sound, we'll say. Yeah, but I'm sure who. For whoever's watching this video, you know exactly what I'm on about. Excuse me, I don't like, whenever I start recording, this never happens with the live streams. Whenever I'm doing a live stream, I'm not yawning. As soon as I do start a recording, I'm yawning my head off. 
Oh, we have an amber signal. Is that for us? Can't be. Well, I'm hovering over the uh, regulator control and the brake control, so... Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I'm going to get a drink. Ah, lovely. We can turn it down to 50% now. See if we can get a bit more of that speed up. Because I don't think that amber signal was for us. Definitely wasn't. Here it comes. Uh, I think if we turn it down to 25, is that going to help our speed a bit more? like it. Speed's going up and boiler pressure's going up, so... miles an hour off our uh, track limit and it's starting to buff it around a little bit let's have a look at these wheels oh look at that motion just listen to that noise as well it's fantastic So there we go, that is our speed limit just popped up in the uh, right corner there. Two miles, we have a 20 mile an hour limit and it's two and a half miles to crew. Amber signals there. I think I need to be getting prepared to stop. So, yeah, I think I'm going to come off the regulator. We're going to open that ejector. We're going to start putting some braking force on. Tell you, let's do a full application. If we're short, we're short. 0 0.6 miles is our next signal. Oh, this is going to be tight. We're coming in hot again. Oh, it's doing some buffeting around again. 
I don't like the way this is going. But braking is coming down rather rapidly, which is good. Football Stadium must be for uh, Cruz football team. Is it? Was it Crew Alexandra? I'm not sure. Crew Athletic. I can't remember. I don't know football teams that well. I'm afraid. So we are at 20 mile an hour. We're just crossing all the other lines here. To come into cruise station. Let's put it full forward. What's the next signal? Am I going to get a red one? I thought as much. But at least if I overshoot, then... Uh, oh no, maybe not. I haven't got much to play with there, ever. In terms of uh, making a mistake. There we go. So unlock left. There we go. That's all for today. Hopefully the uplines can be cleared and open soon. Yeah. Send them cows off to the uh, the slaughterhouse. Causing confusion and delay on the railway. <laughs> there we go. Is that silver medal? Happy days. I like that. So there we go, then, guys. That was the bovine blockage scenario. I got a trophy. There we go. So I hope you have enjoyed that video, guys. And uh, another trophy. Up Udder Chaos. <laughs> I like that one. And yeah, let's say I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, yeah. Stay tuned for the next video. Ta-da for now.